In this example, we will be finding the square root of 48. Before we do that, we need to look at a math rule, which is the square root of a times b is equal to the square root of a times the square root of b, which means that if we have two values multiplied by each other inside of a square root, such as a and b, we can then separate them out into their own individual square roots with multiplication between them. Now to apply this to 48, we first need to look at some of the factors of 48, which include 16 and 3. While there are other factors of 48, I chose 16 and 3 because 16 is a perfect square, and this will help us simplify in the future. Now we can rewrite the square root of 48 as a square root of 16 times 3, which we can then use our math rule up here to rewrite as a square root of 16 times the square root of 3. The square root of 16 is equal to 4 because 4 times 4 equals 16. Therefore, we can rewrite the square root of 48 as 4 times the square root of 3, and this is our simplified version. However, if we want to estimate the square root of 48 to the nearest whole number, we can take a look at perfect squares near this value. 6 squared gives us 36, and 7 squared gives us 49. As we can see, 48 lies between 36 and 49. Therefore, we can re rewrite the inequality 36 is less than the square root of 49, which is less than the square root of 49. Now we can see that because 6 squared equals 36, the square root of 36 will be 6, and because 7 squared equals 49, the square root of 49 will be 7. Therefore, the square root of 48 lies between 6 and 7. Now to find the value that the square root of 48 is closest to, we will look at the difference between 48 and our perfect squares by subtracting. So we'll take 48, subtract 36, we will get 12. We'll do the same thing with 49, so 49 minus 48, we will get 1. We can therefore see that 48 is a lot closer to 49. Therefore, the square root of 48 is closer to 7. So therefore, we can estimate the square root of 48 as being approximately 7.